And welcome back, everyone. CBS 3 Summerfest continues this Friday right here in Philadelphia as the city of brotherly love prepares to turn red, white, and blue to celebrate the 4th of July this morning. We're also talking about the green, including one green space in an unexpected spot. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live in South Philly to tell us all about this place. Jan. Jim, good morning. Last hour, we showed you the beauty that is Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. This is an art installation here on South Street made up of colorful glass bottles, tiles, and mirrors. Well, now we're taking you to a more traditional garden in an untraditional place. From the ground, it's imperceptible. To find this garden, you have to go eight stories up. From the air, its patchwork of color and texture is revealed. This is the Pico Green Roof. Installed in 2009 atop Pico's headquarters at 23rd and Market Streets in Center City, this 45,000 square foot secret garden is one of Philly's first green roofs and still one of the largest of its kind in the entire state. It provides more than just spectacular views of Philadelphia. The Pico green roof captures more than 70% of rainwater that falls during the growing season, an estimated 1.6 million gallons a year. They really help with capturing a lot of that storm water before it releases into the stormwater system. It also helps cleanse the water uh, and, and reduces some of the toxins that get into the water system. The plantings also help keep summer temps on the roof up to 80 degrees cooler than a conventional roof, reducing energy costs. The Pennsylvania Horticultural Society maintains the garden and provides tours. It's a beautiful look at sustainability, meant to awe and inspire. We hope that as more people learn about it, they become inspired to bring green roofs to their own businesses or residences. Now, PHS gave just about 700 people a tour of that green roof last year. They give tours just about every month, and they say if you want your own green roof on top of your home, be sure to do your research first and consult a structural engineer to make sure it's safe. We have all of that information on our website at cbsphilly.com. We are reporting live along South Street this morning. Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim, back into you. Good advice, Jan. You don't want to have trees and grass crashing through your ceiling. 